You see this bear? You see this guy? It's the story about this bear. And he is a sweet little bear. He started out kind of cream colored, but then he got this color through the story. I'll give it back to you, Caitlin. Thank you. This is called The Bear That Santa Claus Forgot. Santa Claus doesn't forget stuff, does he? I don't think so. Christmas Eve was almost over, and Santa yawned. Just one more visit to make, and then he could go home. The sleigh landed gently on Maddie's roof. That's the little girl, Maddie. Interesting name. I think it's Madeline, but they call her Maddie. And Santa Claus put the last few toys into a sack, and he swung it on his back. But the sack was old, and it had a hole in one corner. Here's Santa with his sack, but there's a hole over in this one corner. Guess what's going to happen? Bear hole. <laughs> Air hole? <laughs> or bear hole? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no, said the bear as he slid through the hole. Ouch, said the bear as he landed with a bump on the floor of the sleigh. He sat up and he rubbed his head. Ouch. And then he could see that Santa Claus was climbing down Maddie's chimney already without him. That wasn't right. He was Maddie's bear. The tag around his neck said so for Maddie. She had asked Santa Claus for him weeks ago. What would she say in the morning when he wasn't there? She would be one disappointed little girl, I suppose. Just asking for a teddy bear. What a darling. When Santa came back, he didn't notice that the teddy bear was sitting all by himself. He just climbed into the sleigh and he whistled to his reindeer and they galloped away, pulling the sleigh high into the night sky. First the sleigh turned to the right. Ouch, said the bear as he tumbled across the floor. Then the bear said ouch as he bumped into the side of the sleigh. He's bumping around in the bottom of that sleigh from one end to the other. And he's just a little guy, so I'm sure he's being kind of bumped hard. Then the sleigh turned to the left. Ouch, said the bear as he tumbled across the floor. Ouch, said the bear as he bumped in the other side of the sleigh. Then the front of the sleigh pointed up into the air as the reindeers galloped higher and higher. Oops, said the bear as he tumbled across the floor. Help! cried the bear as he bounced out of the back of the sleigh. Uh-oh, he bounced out of the back of the sleigh. The bear grabbed desperately for something to save him. As the sleigh flew off into the sky, the teddy bear dangled from the back of it with his paws. Have you ever seen anything on TV where they're hanging underneath a helicopter or they're hanging way up high? It's really, really scary. Yeah, and this little guy is hanging off the end of the Santa's sleigh. Woo, said the bear as he held on very tight. His paws hurt, but at least he was safe, he thought. Then he looked down and he saw the roof of Maddie's house. That's where I should be, he said. If Santa won't take me, I'll have to go by myself. And he shut his eyes, and what did he do? He let go. <laughs> He's way up high, and he sees the roof, and he lets go. Now he's tumbling down, tumbling down through the sky. Ah, cried the bear as he fell through the air. Ooh, said the bear as he whirled around and around, his arms and legs flying in all directions. Ouch, said the bear as he landed with a thump on Maddie's roof. Luckily, there was snow, so it kind of softened the blow. He sat up, he brushed off some snow at the end of his nose. I don't know why his nose got snowy. He landed on his rump bump. The snow was cold and wet, and it made his fur all spiky. You know what spiky means? Yeah. Got all prickly and spiky because it was wet. So now he doesn't look so hotsy totsy. Here's a picture of him. He looks like he, looks like he stuck his finger in a, 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 a socket, <laughs> and he got electric. The bear climbed up on a pile of snow, and he looked down into the chimney. Inside, it was dark and scary, I guess. He didn't want to go down there, but how else could he get into Maddie's house? Got to go into that chimney. Oh, this is a brave bear. 
Oh, said the bear as he climbed up onto the chimney's dark opening. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, cried the bear as he slid down the chimney. Upside down, of course. That's the, that's the worst way to go. Ouch, said the bear as he landed in the fireplace in a cloud of soot and ash. Luckily, the fireplace was no longer on, and he just landed in the burnt out soot and ash. But now what's going to happen to him? Oh, there was no Christmas stocking by the fireplace. It must be in Maddie's room. So he started to climb the stairs. Now he's all spiky and sooty. The stairs were very tall for the bear, and the stairs were very steep. Woo, said the bear as he got to the top. He wanted to stop for a rest, but he couldn't. He had to hurry. It was almost Christmas morning. He walked softly down the hallway, and he peeked into the first door. Hmm, said the bear with a shake of his head. He could hear water dripping. He could smell soap. Where is he at? <laughs> in the bathroom. That was his first stop. This wasn't Maddie's room. He peeked around the second door. Hmm, said the bear with a shake of his head. He could see a big bed with two people in it, and he could hear snoring. Whose room is he in now? Maddie's parents. Maddie's parents, mom and dad's room. Yes, exactly. There's a kitten on the, on the coverlet and a book. And mom's got her hair up in curlers. Who's seen that in the last 40 years? <laughs> hair up in curlers? Do you put your hair in curlers? No, you've seen it though. Yeah, that looks like Lucille Ball. He peeked around the third door. Aha, aha, said the bear. He could see a little girl fast asleep. He could see a Christmas stocking hanging on the end of her bed. This must be whose room? Maddie's room, absolutely. But the stocking was very high up for a bear. Oh, said the bear with a tear in his eye. There's no way he could get into Maddie's stocking. There was no way he could be a true Christmas present unless... Hmm, said the bear as he scratched his head thoughtfully. In the corner of the room were some leftover decorations. Now, what do you suppose this clever bear is going to do? Oh boy, said the bear as he rolled himself up in a roll in a sheet of wrapping paper. He rolled himself up in wrapping paper. Oops, said the bear as he fell on his back. Now he's all rolled up, kind of like a mummy. At last, said the bear as he looked up at the stocking. He was badly wrapped, a little damp, and a bit dirty, but he was in just the right place. Well, almost anyway. That's where Maddie found him in the morning. And she loved him right away. Good story. Maddie got her bear. He was a little dirty. He was a little spiky. But she loved him right away. Thank you for borrowing your bear. Do you like that story, the bear that Santa Claus forgot? <laughs> Show of hands. Who's been good? Who's been good? Yay! Yeah. 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 Come on. Oh, right, very good, Tyler. Merry Christmas. There you go. Merry Christmas. Thank <laughs> you.